me and my old business partner, Josh, we used to always joke how we're fucking with evolution, okay? Because guys that are <clears throat> not meant to reproduce, that are very beta, very awkward, et cetera, I turn them into superstars with girls. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. And today I want to go over a post that used to be on a very popular pickup forum called RST Nation. Okay, this was by a guy named Matt 281, who had the highest view count uh, field reports thread. Okay, so field reports are where you're, where you're writing about your nights out, etc. This was his 2000th post. Okay, entitled "What I Learned Winging and Living with Four of the Best Guys in the Game." Okay, now this was back in uh, September 5th, 2015. Okay, so this is um, four and a half years ago, okay? But we'll look at, I'm mentioning here, we'll look at the post uh, in regards to me and some of the other guys here. I just thought this was cool because I was, I was already very, very, very advanced back at this point almost five years ago. Um, I've come a long way since then, but I wanted to go over what he thought about me at that point, okay? Before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already for new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And like and share if you find value, okay? RSD Nation, well, RSD, the actual company, is a fucking scamming pile of shit, okay? And a joke in, in the industry. They, they used to run one of the most popular pickup forums that is now no longer active. This is a, a saved post. That's why some of this is messed up here. Okay, so we'll jump right into it. He says, I never really expected to find myself in this situation. One day when I was 19 or 20, I remember reading an article some guy wrote about how he got a phone number from a girl in his college study group. I thought that was pretty cool. It even encouraged me to talk to a few girls I didn't know. Fast forward a bit, I find myself winging with and living with literally some of the best guys in the world. Strange how things work out sometimes. This post is what I learned is about what I learned from them. Okay. Now, the first guy he references is this dude, get him because I know. Okay, it's this dude Dave, based out of Canada. He originally started this dude, get him because I know. That was his screen name on, on the forum. He originally started my company with me in 2013. Okay, it was me, this guy Dave, get him because I know, and this guy Josh. Um, and I'll, I'll get more to that later. I'm just going to jump ahead to the, to the talk about me first. Okay. So here's, here's me. Okay. I, my, my old alias in the forums was J M U L V. Okay. He, he had to type it out phonetically because, um, R A D R S D made J M U L V a banned keyword <laughs> on R S D nation. Once I started my company, uh, anyways, okay. We'll just jump into it first. Okay. So this is, keep in mind, this is. In September of 2015, okay, four and a half years ago, you know, and I was at 450 count, which is still leaps and bounds above where, where most other advanced guys are in the industry. Uh, so perhaps the first thing you should know about Jay, which will probably be the first thing he tells you, is that he's fucked over 450 girls, okay? Now the current count uh, is 1,254. Yesterday was 1,254. Jay's game is a much needed counterpoint to all their inner game and self-help content that seems to have taken the community by, by storm. He's hyper analytical about game to an extent that I've never seen and extremely methodical about everything he does. Okay, for example, apparently it takes 8 to 12 minutes for a girl to lose state in a cab and just about everything in game can be mapped with a graph or flowchart. Jay uses alcohol to take care of vibing, which no long, I quit alcohol in September of last year, about nine months ago. And everything else is systematized, as it should be. Okay, you know, I'll take a brief pause here. This game is a skill game. Okay, depending on your method and tactics and strategy, that will dictate your performance. Okay, it's as simple as that. Yes, sexual market value, SMV, plays into it. You should optimize whatever you can. Okay, so it, it moves the range of what um, girls you have access to. Okay, you want to optimize whatever you, you can in your favor, okay, so that you can punch above your weight, so to speak, <clears throat> and get the hottest girls that, that are that you're capable of getting, okay, with what you bring to the table. Okay, that's realistic. I'm not I'm not a fucking retard like RSD that says looks don't matter, everyone is cut from the same cloth. That's bullshit marketing speak, okay? They literally have said, like a guy that looks like absolute shit, and then a guy that looks like a model, if the guy that looks like shit has slightly better game, he will get all the girls. No, that is not true. Okay, of course not. And they, and they used to be so adamant about that point that I even believed it at one point, which, is, which goes to show the power of their fucking cult brainwashing. Because they, they would close threads. I remember Jeffy closed a thread on, on do looks matter. 
He's like, for the last time, 1,000%, they matter zero. It's like, okay. That's, that's why everyone has perfectly equal odds on Tinder, right? Because, because it's all a level playing field. Um, okay, so, but the point is here, of course it should be fucking systematized. Of course it, it should be mapped out like a process and like something that you can replicate to get results, which my, my students do all the fucking time. And by the way, I'm going to shout out um, at the bottom, my flagship product, product Occam's Razor, which goes into, it's like my, my Bible of game. Okay? It's like the game Bible. It goes through night game, day game, online game, and dates. Okay, The link will be in the description for that. Um, and Okay, so he's extremely methodical about everything he does. Um, everything else is systematized. Now, here we go. He's, an, he's also an anything goes kind of guy. As far as game goes for Jay, the end justifies the means. Okay, Machiavellian tactics. Okay, the, Machiavelli, he wrote The Prince. Okay, and he talks about the end justifies the means. So in, in, in Machiavelli's writings, he talks about like the president, for example, or the, or the leader of the society. He should appear to be moral and Christian and this and that. Okay, but behind the scenes, he needs to do whatever it takes to get the company, or sorry, to get the country the best advantage, okay, and to be, to be having, the op in terms of game theory, you don't want to be limited, you know, within reason by ethics or, or other various things that are going to really sacrifice your bottom line of results, okay. Now, I will, I will caveat this here. I'm not an anything goes guy. It's within reason, okay. It's not malicious lying. It's little stretchings of truths, okay. For instance, he says, if it's easier to get into a girl's pants by telling her he's a famous DJ, he won't bat an eye doing it. Okay, I've, I've talked at length about how I always mention in the beginning of every in-person interaction how, I, how I'm a DJ. That's Mystery's concept of importing an identity that imports social proof and high value. Okay, she thinks he has an adventurous life. He has access to hot girls, etc., etc. <clears throat> this is why I do that. It's not, not some big malicious lie or, or fucking the girl over. Okay. As far as, he concern, as far as he's concerned, in many ways, game really is just a game with very specific obstacles and rules. Everything is dealing with logistics and objections, and very little, if anything, is off limits. Okay? Say what you will about this, but there's no doubt that it works. From the time I spent going out with Jay, it was clear that not only does he pull more frequently than just about anyone, well over 100 a year recently, but he's also been with some of the hottest girls I've seen. Okay? A few of them are quite literally tens. I spent a few nights with them in, in a few different cities, and it seemed that threesomes and 10-minute pulls were the norm. Okay? Now keep in mind, this is like one of the most um, respected guys, okay, that, that has like the, the highest view count field report threads, okay, but there, there were stories like this all over the forums, okay, when the forums were still up. Guys try to fucking say, oh, well, you know, it's, it's a, he's at 1250 girls now, he must be lying. No, I've been steadily reporting all the way through, as you can see, uh, 450 girls, um, less than five years ago. Okay, so that's we've tacked on now another 800 in the past four and a half years. Okay, um, but yeah, here here it is. Some of the hottest girls I've seen. Some of them are quite literally tense. Okay, now, guy, there's another dispelling another myth. Guys are like, oh, if his lay count is high, his quality must be lower. He might, even Mystery tried to say that because Mystery was like, yeah, I'm in the low 300. Mystery's in the low 300s. He told me he's like, I'm in the low 300s. I was like, well, I've cleared a thousand now. And he's like, oh, well, I actually have standards, okay, which is a common misconception. Guys that know me, again, okay, I posted 200 in a row on Instagram. I keep my quality very high, okay? It's not mutually exclusive. You don't need to either bang lots of girls or bang hot girls. You can do both, okay? It's, very, it's as simple as not approaching girls below a certain threshold, okay? You don't, you don't approach below a 7.5 or below an 8. You don't swipe on below a 7.5 or below an 8. And ta-da, your funnel never has a below or 7.5 or below an 8, okay? It's literally that simple. Um, what I learned from him, game really can just be game. Whether you like it or not, it's very possible to get very good at game in the same way you might get good at sales or chess or poker, as I've stated many times. If you can get past the emotional hurdles of game, there really are some very clear cut rules. And if, even if you're a dark, brooding, misogynistic newbie, you can pull hot girls if you do the right things. Okay. I'm not sure if I like this fact, but it is what it is. Okay. And it's funny because me and my old business partner, Josh, we used to always joke, how we're fucking with evolution, okay? Because guys that are <clears throat> not meant to reproduce, that are very beta, very awkward, et cetera, I turn them into superstars with girls. And then, you know, so that's what he's saying. Even if you're a dark, brooding, misogynistic newbie, you can pull hot girls if you do things right. Once you get past the basic stuff, dealing with the 
logistics and objections is basically everything. Attraction is really only a small part of game. Getting a girl alone with you is the harder part. Okay, there it is. So 2015, he, he talks about four other guys here. Um, the other two besides Dave are not that special. Okay, Dave was, was very, very good. We, we lost contact. Um, but he is traveling all around the world, crushing it. We'll go over the, very quickly the, the talk about Dave. The other two guys, I knew them too, and they weren't that good. Okay, um, But there weren't that many like really, really standout guys around that time. Okay, It's hard to find guys that are 450 count in 2020. Okay, there, This is back in 2015. I think Dave was only, they, they mentioned it here, he was only like 300 um, only. <clears throat> so, okay, that's, this is Dave. Get him because I know... Um, now, we'll just go over his really quick. Keep in mind, he started my company with me in 2013, but he didn't want his face out there and all this stuff, so he uh, kept it more underground. Okay, we'll, we'll go through real quick. I first met Gidham in Vegas when I thought I was going to pull some hottie and then learned she went home with him instead. More recently, I had the chance to live with him for three weeks. The guy's been with over 300 girls and doesn't seem to be slowing down at all, but that's not the crazy part. The crazy part is he's only 25. Get him embodies the party lifestyle. He's been traveling almost nonstop for the past three years, and he'll still go out six days a week if he can. As far as I can tell... To get him, pickup isn't about a mission or a process. To him, to just going out and pulling and fucking is an end within itself. He does it just to do it. And even though he doesn't seem to think much about game in an analytical way, he's very aware of all the little things that makes a difference. Have her take off her shoes when she comes in. Never give her the Wi-Fi password or she'll get distracted on her phone. Another standout thing about Get him is that he's very much himself and he owns it. Never have heard so much Avril Lavigne and Taylor Swift coming out of a loudspeaker at 5 a.m. He has a very strong frame, which helps com tremendously in convincing people to do things. It's funny because this dude, <laughs> this dude Dave, we used to be pretty close friends, and he was so cheap, like he literally saved up thirty or forty grand, and, and then he just like was that's how he was traveling all over the world doing game. He was living off of his savings, but he was so cheap, like he would like he would like prepare peanut butter sandwiches in advance, and like on the walk into the, the club, he'd be like put like in Vegas, he'd be like storing a peanut butter sandwich on like some dude's car in the parking garage, like a random car, so that when we're coming out pulling, he can like take the peanut butter sandwich and eat it. <laughs> We used to always bash on him. Or like, <clears throat> you know, they'd be like, oh, do you want this on your burger or some shit at a drive through And he'd be like, yeah, I guess so, but how much is it? And they're like 30 cents. And he's like, uh, he's like, I don't know, guys. Like, <laughs> like that kind of person. All right, so uh, to some extent, get him's game can fly under the radar. He's not really flashy, animated, gimmicky, overly funny, or even particularly louder alpha on set. He just gets in there and goes to work, slowly chipping away until the pull. Like Tyler mentions, okay, don't fucking bring that fucking retard into some, some quality top guys in the world posts. Uh, the best game doesn't look like game. Okay, what I learned from him, time and feel this king, persistence, persistence, persistence. It's 5 a.m. on a weekday. He's still out trying to pull. Yeah, that dude would, he would stay out till 6, 7, 8 a.m. very frequently uh, in Vegas. It's not a burn it to the bitter end mission for him. He just wants to get laid. Flashiness doesn't need to be chill, be funny, be methodical. Everyone loves the highlight reel, the 90. Yard touchdowns, the half court shots, but it's the consistent four yard runs and the layups that win championships. All right, so <clears throat> I will throw my thing up here. Uh, the, the point of all this here, guys, is first of all, this was like five years ago, but uh, but but my game is already very advanced at that point. Okay, I wanted to to bring that up. Um, what actually made me think about this is that uh, Nick Krauser is now fucking attacking Bradicus, saying, Oh, Bradicus must be uh, showing, because Bradica shows tons of proof on Instagram and infields and everything, okay? Like, much more so than almost everyone in the industry, okay? Bradica and I both show shitloads of proof, and we're two of the best guys in the game right now and, and two of the most advanced. And Bradica's messaged me yesterday and said, oh, Krauser's saying that I, I bang all these hookers and that the girl, all the proof is just hookers. I'm like, yeah, dude, I went through that two years ago, okay? Guess who wrote a hit piece about me on a shitty little blog, okay, in 2018, September 2018? He said, oh, Jay Malv... Uh, must be lying, must be faking. And he said I was fat, okay, which was not even remotely true. He said, oh, J-Mob's girls must all be hookers, okay, because it came out that I had banged a girl off seeking arrangement, okay, which is a sugar daddy site that by no means means I, did, I paid that girl. Of course, I did not pay that girl. And uh, where that information came from is, oh, when Sonny Arvado and I had a falling out, Oh, well, uh, he's on that site seeking arrangement, okay? And then that just became this runaway thing. Oh, if he's using seeking arrangement, he must be paying girls for sex. And his 1,000 girls must all be paid hookers, okay? No, of course not. That's ridiculous. And Krauser, this bald little fucking brooding racist, okay, based out of England, who posted his real stats, and they're abominable and atrocious, but he makes money off pickup books, okay? Royalties. He's going to be 
utterly destroyed in a joint blast roast by Bradicus and I coming soon. Okay. Uh, compiling info for that. If you have any info on Krauser, we already have a bunch. Okay, Krauser, PUA, fucking total doofus in England. Uh, day game fucking loser. Email me, johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com. Okay. Check out my uh, pickup Bible product. Link will be in the description, Occam's Razor. Also, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. New videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I have some old field reports. I'm going to be delving into my first field report ever doing game. I'm also going to be going into another report from Matt281, this guy from this post here, where he recounts spending three days with me. And it's actually my favorite field report uh, written about me. Um, so subscribe if you have not already. And <clears throat> like and share if you found value. Lots of amazing stuff coming soon. And I will see you guys on the next video. I'm John Anthony. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.